February the 2nd, 2020, is, this was recorded in a large city in the hostel. Basically, it's like this. Serbian government was involved in this case already from very, very beginning. So already from day A. Okay, from when it all started, they were involved in this along with Slovenian government. Slovenia used to be part of Yugoslavia. Uh, they had a complete, complete overview over this MK Ultra case from beginning and as it became evident all the way to the end. If anything, uh, this MK Ultra did help me out understand a little bit better myself, world. Uh, issues I was troubled with it would help me get through and I'm not gonna say become a better person because I don't believe in that but help me understand the world around me a little bit better. At one point Serbian government had me in Belgrade city. They had me in the Belgrade. I am familiarized just as I'm familiarized with the city of Lodge with a certain portion of Belgrade because there were people there they wanted to help me out uh, Serbian government alone was very interested in this case they wanted to help me out uh, but the two individuals I'm going to talk about in this video and then I'm going to provide you with an audio recording to prove you this these two people were involved in this case one person was involved since 1995 this is basically from the day a when it all started uh, the second person you're going to hear the audio he became involved sometimes in the year 1998 1999 most likely it was 1999 and not 1998 and this recording you're about to hear was this was just done a few days ago. This was done, I don't know, I explained. Was it done on January the 30th or was it done on January the 31st, I'm not certain, of 2020. So this was just done a few days ago. Uh, it definitely proves the legitimacy of this case beyond any doubt. The gentleman you're not about to hear yet but with whom most likely, his name is Dayan, with whom most likely I will probably end up having like one-on-one -on -one interview. If he's going to agree to that, like live on a camera, we eventually, uh, I eventually am optimistic enough to, I hope, would get him confirm this case like firsthand as a completely legitimate case. He was involved in this case since 1995. Now, 1995, just before the new year, 1995 was in 1994, before the new year. This date is when I arrived to the US for work on a cruise line, on a ship. And I did so, I had a contract, six month contract, I did that. Along with me, Slovenian government sent some people to trace all of my activities, everything I would do. I was not important enough, but extremely important person for, well, for the ex-Yugoslav, if you like, affairs, world of affairs. And I'm not sure maybe this was what triggered attention from Central Intelligence Agency so much that they just glued themselves on my tail. If it was not some other uh, issues involved in it, because Slovenian government, you let me go through Russian government. This is how Putin became Putin to get to me. Literally, in the store in Miami, downtown. Uh, once I got married to a lady from Ecuador, I would have a central intelligence agency people standing right side of the store in the corners watching the store. 
1996, early 1996, Melania Trump came to propose me to marry her, to go with her from Miami all the way back to Slovenia, to Novo Mesto, where we are both from. She's exactly the same age as I am. She's 48, I'm 48. She's from the same city as I am. And it's called Donald Trump bumping her and I got married to her. But what I'm saying is, this is also how Vladimir Putin, who was at the time, just really a nobody, became Vladimir Putin. This is how he got to meet Donald Trump. This is how he got to meet the whole American uh, deep state government, the, like people who decide about the country's fate. Uh, and it's how they have actually even approved of his becoming what he became. Till then, it was Boris Yeltsin who command, commanded uh, Russian Federation. Yeah, this is how this goes. All right, so the gentleman I'm not going to talk about did not state it to me that we were here in 1995. But he did give me the complete, complete, complete overview of like a fast overview, like a fast refreshment of what I have basically gone through for the 17 years of my life, from 1995 all the way to 2017. Yeah. And so it started in Zgir, in Zgir city, way before. Than what I actually even assumed. I assumed they came to Poland in 1998. I assumed I was first in Czech Republic for like several years and then Poland and this and that. No. Zgirsch, 1995. I will not forget the German by the name Deja. He's from Serbia. His store is now a pizza store where he works at. And this store is located perhaps not even a half kilometer from here. A maximum, I'll give you like a 500 meters from here that is located. He is a cook in that store. Uh, he prepares the food and I can tell you that he is a food expert. He's an expert in food. He could make probably about... In my opinion, he could he could take he could make ten times more money than what he makes. <laughs> he knows how to prepare famous Serbian chivapčići food. He knows how to make uh, pleskavice, burek. He's got a recipe for the burek. He's got a whole bunch of stuff learned how to prepare, how to cook. That he could become here in this city like a little millionaire, to be honest with you. Because if once you know this kind of, these are like a, consider like it's secrets in a cooking industry, uh, the wealth is guaranteed for you. Instead, he's working for someone else in this pizzeria, which is like, it was like completely, once we started to talk about all this, I was quite shocked about all this stuff. You know? He started to work in this pizzeria, I believe, sometimes in maybe 2015 or something like this. And I know so because when he brought me here, he like updated me. He said, no, I am actually working not too far from your hostel. Uh, just so I can make sure that I am close to you whenever you come here, definitely. Uh, I will help you. This guy, this day, and since he came to his gear, it was really good. I was quite pleased that, that he was involved in this stuff. This is what my first impression was about him. He actually looks almost like my friend from Slovenia, my neighbor. Uh, but then I became more and more strange. Uh, really strange in the sense that I started to become I should say I just started to annoy, discriminate people, display hateful behavior, racism literally in the face of the people to the point that I would actually divide families, create uh, disputes within the families to the point they would 
fell apart, literally. This is how obnoxious I became with my behavior. Under MKR drugs, subjected to the torture by MKR drugs, drugged up. Yet, enough brazen, enough, enough, uh, whatever you want to say this, the cost, even stuff like this, and Dayan just happens to be like a perfect example of what I have stated. Because he mentioned, he talked to me about father-in-law. One day a telephone ring, uh, it must have been, I'm not sure, um, a few days ago, maybe a week ago or so, and I came to visit him, and he gave me a complete overview, and he, he mentioned his father-in-law. He mentioned the house, father-in-law. Uh, I don't know how much he's interested in working together with me. We would both work as the cooks. Um, I would not mind this at all because I need job and man, like I said, he could he could pile up a whole a lot of wealth. Like he knows. So working with somebody like this, I should say, for somebody like this, is just something that. Um, if this is what you're about to do, you can't go wrong with it, right? And so he gave me the complete, complete overview. He got married here to the Polish girl, his father-in-law from Lodz. He had me in his house in Lodz. I can go and describe his house in Lodz. Supposedly we only met once at this pizzeria and so on. Uh, a perfect example of what I have stated is Dayan. The German I'm talking about, because it came to the point that I would just go as far as impressing his father with with a hatred, with, with, with a hateful issue to the point that he started to have problem with his son-in-law, to the point that the whole family exploded literally into domestic war issues and just imagine somebody subjected to the drugs drugged up that does stuff like this to you this is i did folks i did the stuff like this Bayon was pissed off a few times with me um, I think he had uh, his moments when he saw me quite a lot of people did um, boy, if you, if you knew what I saw, what I have gone through, uh, stuff that I have seen, stuff that I have experienced, stuff that I have done, you would. <laughs> Let's just leave that on the side, okay? It is, it's just one of a kind. Right? And so. He didn't give me the whole update. The point here is we were in Zgirsh in 1995. Yes, sure, I remember his residence in Zgirsh. Uh, his first residence. It was actually one night when we packed over there and we went. They did the deal in 95, and this is how it all started. We went to Poland. They talked to me about some city. Do you think I knew what city this is? No, hell no, you dropped that. You don't know Jack. You don't know anything. He was the one who swore that he's gonna be with me until the end. Until I'm gonna actually do whatever the Germans, Americans, British, French, and everybody demanded from me to do, basically to stay alive. Now, I'm talking about the coin. I'm talking about the coin, let's say. Imagine this watch is a coin. It's what it looks like from one side, and this is what it looks like from the other side. And the German business was such that the only thing they would do is they would tell you a lie. Here it is. This is how it all started. 800 million euros you're going to get if you manage to prove you were in Zakopane in Novi Turkey. If you do the whole revision of what went on, and this was sometimes probably 99, something like this. If you manage to describe the changes within these four years that took place in these cities, you get 800 million euros cash if you can do this 
Then, to get the light going, light also is a business. They increased that amount. And the amounts increased all the way to what was even 200 billion dollars, euros. Sometimes in mid-2006 they came up with that kind of idea. British, American, French, they would all collect money and this is the money that would be invested in addition through me in Eastern Europe and I don't know what I would be and this and that and blah 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 blah. Well, this person and I don't know. It became obvious, however, that more than this coin, coin turned, the more business was done. We had the business people here, all the business from the West, including Gillette. I can confirm I had a conversation with a gentleman who was involved in, in MK Ultra from Gillette in 2005. We had people here. I remember Nice from Netanyahu was here. I remember all these people here. They would go to this company, play with the job search and stuff like that. Uh, test it, see how these jobs work and so on, the pay and stuff. The more this thing would go, the more, the more money they would make. And when I say the more money they would make, yesterday I walked across the lot here in Manufactura. And I remind my, it got through me because when you reminisce situations, when you are subject to MK Ultra, let's say it's an evening and you're on the right spot and you're looking at something and you're thinking about something, it's exactly the memory that's going to roll through you in your brain. And in this case, it was a psychologist, American psychologist, who suggested, oh, well. Um, you're going to be poor without a dime inside of your pocket and you're going to be walking through this walk and you're going to be watching all this. And I said to him, I'm going to say what? I'm going to be watching what? You're going to be watching cars. You're going to be watching the shopping mall. You're going to be all this. You're going to be watching. And you will know that you created this, yet, you, but you will have no dime in your pocket. You will be poor like a mouse. Ha, 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 this and that. You will remember and throw it. Oh, they try to make like a really, really, really angry personality of me by doing this kind of stuff. And when you think about it, somebody like Elon Musk, when you think about it, somebody like Joe Bezos, all zeros when it started. Pile up the well they have today, and you are just seriously without the time in your pocket. It becomes extremely, extremely unpleasant. Uh, you do hear some ah, and ah, and ah. All the people here inside of this hostel, some people who participate in MKO try to them personally. Some people from 2003, I estimate, maybe even earlier. I know the history of this hostel. Well, it's a bit the more the coin turn around, the more business was done, the more money was on the table in Berlin, in London, across the US. The last these people wanted to know about me, I became a subject of something that seems like it's going to be, it's never going to come out. And I know so because of scenarios they came up with. They came up with more and more and more and more and more demands. On one side, I was already rated as an ESA. That was in 2000 and 2013, 2012. Um, a terror. <laughs> before I was even placed inside of the mental hospital is actually psychological terror is impossible to describe and then the only thing that followed was during the hospitalizations alone I was brought back to Poland now you rated as an insane already 
how the hell do you go about and start talking on the internet what they have done to you on their employees? Psychiatric violence came to the point that I was conditioned with talk on the internet. If you would talk on the internet, if you would even only go to the internet, if you would say, if you would only mention one more time, it's going to be ambulance vehicle that will come to pick you up. This is the way it was in Slovenia. Yet, despite being tortured, despite... I barely walked from those medications. This is how severe this stuff was, whatever they have used, because I don't think they even use what they said they used. Despite the terror, and I can tell you I piled up probably half a meter thick file of all kinds of diagnosis that's wrong with me. No proofs, however, no substantiation, substantiated proof or anything that would give proof of any kind that something is wrong with me. Terror beyond believable. I continue to despise all this stuff, to go on, 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 reporting myself in psychiatric hospital for torture. Well, whenever I was back, I continued to go on and on and on and on. And on. Uh, they realize I am unstoppable, or not stopped. And I think that it was, it, it, it started to create bigger and bigger interest, and this is how I, I went on somehow. But this is how bad it was, if you want to know about that coin that turns around. That money that expended to unlimited amount of money became out of reach, in other words. It became impossible to, uh, you know, I was fighting for life, really. Uh, and when I think about the stuff, I was told, when I think about it's it's kind of impossible. I, mean, I think that, that there was people that spent a lot of time thinking how they would like emotionally crush you, so that you would not continue and tell the whole thing about what went on. Yeah? This is the way it was. Um, I just was thinking about that laughed a little bit earlier because it's all kinds of people here I shouldn't maybe even say this there are some people who are eager to help there are some other people who would not want to help but are here because of the government stuff. it's all kinds of people I would categorize that are here so it's interesting yeah so this much about the day um, that's all I got to say uh, about this gentleman. I do want to apologize to him. It was extremely inappropriate. But it became evident from our talk with Dayan, that was over a week ago. It became evident that he understands that, that I myself, I was manipulated into this um, this this whole thing to the degree that I did not have control of it. It was quite reasonable the hatred that I, 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 um, I started to radiate around me. What's fascinating was that in, in real life, in real time, none. You could not document anything about me that would suggest that I am engaging in any kind of racism or anything like this, but when you would subject me to MK Ultra, this is what where insults would basically rain into the faces of people. I mean, the stuff that I would come up with, it was just really outrageous. Important for me is that, which is shocking to me, uh, is that he Oh, he always was committed to help me out. He was committed to help me out already from 95. And he was the one who was committed to help me out no matter what. While there was another gentleman. Now this is the audio recording I'm going to play you so you're going to see that I'm not joking about this stuff. 
whom I have insulted, who also is from Serbia, I have insulted him so bad that I almost make him cry. I can tell you that, that he sincerely, sincerely was insulted. The one who come in now was a Swedish king, Gustav, who offered him a compensation for my insults. But basically, gesturing me that he saved my life doing so with job in Sweden, which would pay him a really, really good wage. So this is the gentleman you are about to hear the audio. Okay. Uh, it just happened so that on the 30th or the 31st I walked in part of the lodge not too far from here and I found myself like in a, in a Alice Wonderland in a place which I recognized new but I had to sort it one out yet where, how, this and that. Sure enough I see a sign hostel and everything is so familiar around this place and so what I do is I go inside of that hostel and I, I see this gentleman, this is the second gentleman therefore not the one, not the first person I have spoken with uh, about and with whom I will try today and I will try to contact you and get some more from you about this case uh, and so we walked inside of this hostel, this is the second gentleman from Serbia, and as I talked to him, um, actually the lady took me upstairs, showed me how the hostel looks like, this is what I wanted to see how the hostel looks like, just was interested to see what I was, because I knew I recognized the place I was there, okay, and so she tells that the owner is not here, this and that, tra -la -la -la. this is what it looks like, this is what the cost is. If I would wanted to stay there, I would have to talk to the owner and this and that. Tra -la -la. And on my way out, by the way, I see the gentleman whom I, I know, I recognize him, I see his face. He is familiar, very familiar to me. I see, in fact, a setting where he sits, he eats a soup. I see a sofa, I see the stuff he was talking to me about. I don't know, I think it was like 2015, I'm pretty sure that he fixed it like that so um, it would stay right there and so it would, it would look like this and um, that he personally liked it like that and so on and so forth. This gentleman was, I think this is the gentleman I brought into the tears with my insults and he swear he's not gonna help me that, that, that I will be forgotten and left out and dead and forget me and everything in between you possibly can imagine and as I go inside of this hostel with the lady upstairs because I see him and it becomes very interesting to me because I know that he must be from somewhere not too far from where I am from Slovenia and I know he must be either from Croatia or he must be from Serbia I know immediately about it. And so I started to talk, but he is very, very dismissive. In fact, he's like, what are you asking all this? Why, why do you want to know this? What are you doing? What are you looking? What are you, like, I'm spying or something like this, like, you know? Why, why am I asking these questions? Why do I want to see that? And this and that? Yeah, well, kind of uh, make me feel like better not even to continue maybe the conversation because it would cause me a trouble something like this for my being nosy like that oh true of course you have the right to go to see the hostel right that's your you're right and i'm not in any way in choosing right? i'm just curious in intelligent ways um regardless of it that we never met that he the hostel was open in, I don't know, season, one year ago, something like this. Um, that he is from Sweden. Mm -hmm. He would not tell me where he's from. He would not tell me absolutely anything. And so I walk out, I'm thinking, oh, before that I entered also the restaurant. It's an African restaurant. And now I don't know what to think about, but as I walk out, and I approach the gate, 
It kicks to me the whole, the whole picture about who he was. I have never seen German other than when subjected to MK Ultra, and I never ever was in this place other than when subjected to MK Ultra. And it comes to me at the gate that the German already was involved in MK Ultra in 1998, if not 1999, the latest. He was one of the first people and also was from Serbia, just like a Dayan. He is a very good friend of Dayan. In fact, sometimes it must be like two years maybe later, after he got the job in Sweden through me. I don't know how much you have realized, but there's a whole bunch of people who got jobs across the seas in Britain. Uh, this one got in Sweden. They got jobs everywhere. Um, now, this gentleman really was insulted. I, I really did insult at him so bad that he was ready to cry. Uh, uh, many faked so they would get the jobs because they knew there are really, really powerful people behind me, people who had a lot of money. And so whomever I would, it became, it became known, being around me was extremely profitable. And whomever I would insult, they would obtain a really, really good employment, basically compensation in form of a really, really well paid employment. And within three years or so, this gentleman, who I believe, you're not going to hear me talking about what his name is or whatever, I still don't, I remember what his name is, what his name is, I don't think he said, um, became wealthy enough to, I think, purchase not only this hostel, but this whole building, I think. It was something like this, and the Polish government helped him out. His wife is Polish, and it was the first room he appeared in this building was the room which I entered as soon as I returned back to meet him again. Because this time when I was returning back, I knew exactly who he was. And what he does is now, we embrace each other, we hug one another, I apologize to him. And uh, he instead is trying to cheer me up, he's saying, it's okay, brother, it's okay, brother. So this is definitely something you want to hear. Uh, no, if you speak Serbo-Croat language, if you speak Polish, I don't know, this is a Serbo-Croat and Polish. Uh, I'm a little bit confused when I talk to the people uh, from uh, Serbia or Croatia or Bosnia, because now and Polish and Russian uh, I don't know, I almost put everything in the same drawer. It's confusing. Um, it's confusing because I don't get to use, I don't get to use language um, with these particular people all the time. My uh, language skills in Serbo-Croat are perfect, closely immaculate. But, you know, in a situation like this, you get touched, you get confused, you, you just... It's confusing stuff. Right? So if you want proof about Serbian state involvement in this case, here is one I'm going to play you. Uh, I still hope I'm going to get you there at the table so you can tell me more about, we can talk about all this stuff. Uh, and yes, I was in Belgrade. There is a whole high rise uh, with younger people in Belgrade that they try to help me out. If I would go to Belgrade, there's a lot of people that know me in Belgrade. A whole lot of people out there know me in Belgrade, too, in Serbia. So that's what I want to say for this video. Um, if you understand the language, enjoy it, but you can't deny this case. Huh? Well, I'm pleased to have met both gentlemen again. Uh, it means to me a lot that Mr. Dayan repeated to me on several occasions just as he promised he would do if I would somehow manage to get through all this he repeated to me politica you go no I mean the politic is shit it is politic kills politic turns people into something else it takes them away from what they are uh, and the German you're about to hear now that is just as meaningful 
This is a gentleman who actually sworn me sometimes in 2000 and 2001, <coughs> 2002, something like this. He's not going to even help me anymore. That he's so upset, and so that's why you hear me on the audio. You hear me. One would no longer even want to help me out. Well, the one I met with about a week ago, he still was willing to help me no matter what throughout the entire ordeal. But this was this one was the most persistent. Now the thing is, they both helped me out, uh, and the one who swore that he's not going to help me out no matter what, he actually hugged me, which is really, really nice. We hug each other, so this is really sweet.
I'm asking the patient the same problem with a banking institution right across the street. Uh-huh. And I don't feel like, you know, everything is free, 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 and then all of a sudden, uh, nothing is free no more. Uh-huh. Maybe you have to do a real black man in the middle of the day, it's open. Two years, three o'clock, they're close the phone, smell. Hey, I don't know about that. Probably oh, wouldn't be happy about that. No, I think that you should be, if you offer somebody this kind of option, at least I think you should speak to that person. Forty years, I think. So right across the street, it seems like after like maybe two, three months or something, and then it just started to start. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah. that you have number, mm-hmm. your name, and then address your Okay, yeah, so you would like me to come here or here? Yeah, it's okay. 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 And I still have the account, and then you can find the same property you should be lost with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ale ja jestem jakiś y, na moim rachunek u banku. Mam. Jestem ta łopata dla, nie wiem, może być to jego rachunek, czyli jego kasy, coś takiego. No, ja chcę być, znam to takiego. Może być to musi ten święt, skąd to jest takiego. Myślę, że jest taka opłata, taka pasterza, 
Bardzo dziękuję. Jeżeli będą jakieś pytania, to zapraszam. Oddaję no, 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 paszport, tak. kartę. Za jakieś 10 minut będę chciał zobaczyć, tak jak jest tam statek na rachunku. Tak. Ok? I wchodzi do tej dziury. Dziękuję tak. bardzo.
yes, hello. Hi, how are you today? Hello. Oh, thank you very much for returning your phone call. I do have a minute. That is right. Understandable. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you.
Thank you so much for calling me back. Thank you, sir. You did? Really? Wow. Where at? I'm sorry. Uh, hello. Hello. Voices, I can barely hear you. Now we have a bad connection. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, hello? Yeah. Yes, I can hear you way better. You did stand in floor. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Tampa Bay. Oh. Yeah. Really? Okay. I did spend considerable amount of time, I, and I apologize for interrupting you, but I spent considerable amount of time in Miami. So we do have something coming here. <laughs> Uh, I did, I did, I did. Actually, I think it's my my French speaking. Uh, it's not something bad I do. I think I do well. Now, it all depends how you like speaking. Now, you do have a school, and uh, I don't know. What do you do with your teachers? What do you prepare doing in your school? You, uh, you probably have a different clientele. You probably have children, adults. I don't know. No, I did not even, no, I did not spend any time on the website, no, not at all. But I'm open to children and I'm open to adults, students, whatever it's out there, everything in between, I should say. In Poland, New well, Orleans, Poland, this is interesting. It's kind of unusual, but I was involved in one NCL Ultra case. I was involved in an I was involved in MC Ultra case. MC Ultra case. MC Ultra. Um, MC MC Ultra, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so this is how I ended up in Poland. I, uh, honest to God, Wojtek, I did not even know Poland is a country that exists. No, I'm just kidding. I did. It's just that I ended up here. <laughs> I ended up here. Uh, thanks to Americans, I ended up here. They got me here. Um, well, I'm not, not exactly straight here. I don't know whom I should thank. Maybe I should thank to Mr. Miller Zaman Tech. Maybe I should thank to my own people over there in Slovenia. I don't know whom I should thank, but I did end up here. Um, Interesting country, Poland. I like it. I like people. I'm a people's person. Today is rainy, so I'm a rainy person. <laughs> well, you know, the fact of the matter is that. Uh, my English skills match those of high school graduates in the U.S. Uh, language, uh, language wise, uh, because I was interested in getting into law enforcement in the U.S. and so I did. Uh, nah, I was I was interested in becoming a cop, a police officer, and so I did go to the college 
trained myself there, uh, language and everything, grammar and so on. And I did really well. I, I scored top. Uh, I scored top possible scores on state exams uh, that did match and exceeded English level of native U.S. So it's been some time. It's been a while, but that's not really a trouble because if it's some clientele that is like, I don't know, professors, teachers, and they just want to do it like completely, completely correct, I can do that. So I go over and comply with that. Fact of the matter is, I can give the deepest in English possible. Well, as much as the high school graduates can from the U.S. I can match those and probably my pronunciation is a little bit better than what you get here from professors. But not a problem or two. I will have to improve one, uh, but really not a problem. Good enough to go out there and teach, really. Even you know, I got a chance to meet a teacher. Um, she is a professor teaching journalism here in Poland, English language, and yeah, I, th I think I could teach her. Yeah. It's not bad. I am an educated person. I have a different technique when it comes to teaching. I could. This is insanity. This is what I'm saying. I have exactly the same view like you do. This is crazy. I, I notice that people are keep coming back in the school and they never learn really proper English and they just keep coming back just to maintain whatever they know. And that's just really, really not good enough in my opinion because we can be taken to the next level. Right. Very agree with you. We are we are on the same page. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. You you're giving them like more creative approach. You basically give them a mind process so they can analyze themselves. Mm -hmm. The way you can your voice is that I think I'm on the same page as you are. I think that you figure out that, that for people to not only maintain knowledge, but to elevate from what they know is basically develop their own thinking based on English language, right? You're, you're more creative. That's exactly what I do too. That's exactly what I do too.
pani, a może zobaczyć resztę stołu? Dziękuję bardzo. Pan ma rezerwację? Na tę stronę mam rezerwację. Na tę stronę mam rezerwację. Ja to też kiedyś zobaczyć teraz patrzę. Ja mam mam wiedzieć. A ile kosztuje? Ja mam tu na przykład Dobra, dobra, Dobrze, rozumiem, że Pan chce zobaczyć po prostu. Ja byłem tu. No dobrze, ale czego Pan teraz potrzebuje? Nie, a ile kosztuje to za jedno miesiąc mieszkanie? No to, to w zależności od tego, jaki pokój Pan ma, tak? Aha. Bo może kosztować 600 zł, a może kosztować 2000 zł, tam w zależności od pokoju. Za, ale jednoosobowy pokój jest? Za... Jednoosobowy pokój kosztuje 99 zł za dobę. Jeśli Pan potrzebuje na cały miesiąc, to musi się Pan umówić z szefem, z właścicielem mhm. i wtedy jakby negocjuje Pan cenę, tak? A jak jest cena by była? Co by było? Co? No to Pan musi... Najtańszy miesiąc takiego. Znaczy naj, najtańszy pokój, kosztu, znaczy najtańszy, to jest wtedy miejsce w pokoju sześcioosobowym Aha. i to jest 35 zł za dobę, ale jeśli Pan chce na cały miesiąc, no to mhm. wtedy właściciel ustala jakby cenę dla Pana, tak? I to wtedy wychodzi to, nie wiem, może to 25 zł, może to 20 w zależności, Aha. co Pan wtedy ustalicie. Dobrze, no ja to też wtedy coś tak poinformowałem. No, yy, A mogę to zobaczyć? Bardzo proszę. Ja proszę. Dziękuję. Nie, 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 nie,
nie było się nie, nie. Jeszcze nie było. Wy, ale wy pracujecie tu? Proszę pana. Ale co tam potrzebuje? Nie, 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 nie. Gości nie przybiera. Ona tu, to jest. A, rozumiem, rozumiem. Kto się tu przyjdzie? Jest powodnie. A ty jesteś powodnie? Jest powodnie. A ty jesteś powodnie, rozumiem, jak pojedzie. A odkąd jesteś? Ja sam sam służył gości, kto tego stawia. Bo jest w boju, w boju się dzieje, w trzecie boda. Aha. To ona po dwa i pół godziny. A wy jesteś od od od. Ja tam już i wszystko. Do, 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 do. A pytasz, gdzie są radio 28? Kako, gdzie są radio? Tu? No, ja bym ja tak, ty, tak, ty, tak, ty ty ja tak. A kako ty mi spodziewał? Zak ty prosił to dwie osoby? Jer ty ty bio tu od dwie osoby? O, ja sam bio, evo... I tu je bio, šta je bio? Ne znam, je li bio to 2008? Da, da je bio to? 2008? 2008? Mislim to ne. I tu je bio otvoreno? Ne bilo, ali možda bi tam 2010 i poslato do... No dobro, nema veza, prije 10 godina. I tu je bilo otvoreno. Tu je radio kao hostel. Ne pamtiš? Da nije bio drugo mjesto. Možda, znate što? Da nije bio drugo mjesto. Ne, jesam. Dobro, jesam. Dzięki. Dziękuję. Ok. Dziękuję bardzo. A vi... Pan, odakle vi ste? Iz Švedije? Iz Sokolna. Ja sam iz Švedije. Aha, iz Sokolna. Jeste. A Švedska? Priča Švedski. Znate što ne pričam Švedski? A? Ne pričam Švedski u ovom nego? A koga tražiš ti? Tražiš nekoga? Ne, ja ne tražim nikoga. Ja tako... Ne znam, ja...
snom nije se snom... Ja vam nisam uvredio da se tako zove. Ne, ne, niste, ali slažiš nešto vezno sa slađenom. Aha, aha, tako. Dobro, ja izvinjam vam prijatelj kako se kiva. Uvidjenja. Now, uh, at least 2015, this hostel existed, it existed exactly as it was. This gentleman, this is what is surprising to me, this gentleman was here, he claims to be from Sweden. He would not tell where he is from. He speaks Serbian, Croat language. Uh, not exactly very friendly, but... Okay. Yeah, we were in this hostel. I understand there was a ballot school, but I can tell you in 2015 there was no ballot school. What was here, I do not know. What, what other stuff they have going on, who knows. Uh, probably a gentleman is, might be from Serbia or some place like that, I estimate. Nothing wrong with it, I mean this caused a fair share of troubles, but still. I remember him mumbling something you will not be able to prove this and that. Now, if I properly remember, I'm gonna go a little bit further with this gentleman. Hi, this gentleman does furnish. He does the construction, if I properly remember, something to do with it. And he personally have helped with arrangements of items in this hostel such as sofa and stuff like this. He helped something with construction inside. Uh, therefore, with interior, he did some interior job. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, I could even go and ask him, but he is like acting like a reserved person and keep he keep repeating what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for and stuff like this. So definitely not a person you would want to go and ask uh, you would not want to bother with the stuff like this because he's just looking for something, uh, you know, some other stuff, you know, he could suggest that I'm snipping and stuff like that. Not a stuff you'd want to do. a little bit more about this gentleman. Now it got to me. Now it got to me. Oh, there is a little bit more about this gentleman. This gentleman, this gentleman works for the Serbian police. This gentleman is from Serbia. This gentleman was involved already in my case sometimes in hoo, 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 hoo. maybe 98 or something like this 
there were two of them, uh, two of them actually even separated. The one I have token, spoken with the other day, um, but two different characters. One very much willing to help, involved already in 95, late 95. This one here determined basically to cause trouble because it was very inappropriate toward him. Now I know who this gentleman is. Ho, 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 ho. Forget about 2008. Ah, uh, he immigrated to Sweden. This is how he got job, right through this case. There must have been quite a lot of electroshocks and all kinds of stuff done on me when it comes to this one. Wow. This is just... <clears throat> Very, very, very good audio. Um, this was recorded sometimes. Hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff, this one. Whoa. This is mind blowing. This was recorded on January 30, 2020. 